Welcome back to IPCPR 2017 with Cigar Federation. I'm Trip here with Nelson and Danny from Moya Ruiz. Uh, tell us about the Il Ridotto, your new stuff. You, you said that uh, pretty good. Thank you. This is, uh, this is what we're showcasing uh, this year uh, at the IPCPR here in Vegas. Um, it translates into the private room and uh, kind of the story behind it is it was the first uh, casino ever in 1638. It was in Venice, Italy, uh, in the west wing of the San Moises Church. And uh, kind of to tie into our whole theme of gaming and gambling, this is, uh, we kind of went back in history. And it's available in two sizes and two sizes only, Robusto and Toro, a 6x54 and a 6x50. And uh, it's a little bit different than some of the stuff we've come out with in the past because we, we typically have more full-bodied cigars. Mm -hmm. This is more of a solid medium, but a lot of flavor. Okay. We wanted to come out with something that people could smoke in the morning, lunch, or uh, afternoon. And if you smoke it while you're playing poker, automatically you get better luck. So that makes sense. If you're down in the casino, come get some ridotto in your life, you'll start winning. You didn't have much to say there, Nelson. Hey, man, I'm, I'm what else do you have to say about it? That we took a long time to get it out. So uh, we, we, we released it to 10 stores last year, right before the show, and uh, we wanted to age it. We wanted to do the proper process. So this year we're actually ready for national distribution. Also, also to you know, be in compliance with the FDA guidelines oh, of, of the... Uh, that August uh, 8th deadline. But tell them a little bit about the blend. We talked about the blend already. It's a Brazilian Habano, a Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan filler. Uh, I would consider it mild to medium. Uh, some people have told me they think it's medium to full, but for, for us, definitely it's one of our lightest smokes. Yeah, but uh, a lot of flavor. Uh, typical for a lot of the stuff that's coming out of La Zona. And uh, we're very happy with it. It's actually the first time that we use a Brazilian uh, Habano wrapper. So it's pretty neat. I haven't seen Brazilian Habano used much at all. No, it's not. It's, uh, I guess, maybe uh, hard to get. You know, Brazil is not growing a lot. They yeah. rather, they rather grow coffee. So it's nice that, uh, you know, uh, the factory was able to get their hands on Tell uh, some wrapper. Tell a little bit about the logo so they know what it is. Oh, the, uh, the purpose the reason for the packaging, and you're probably wondering why there's a weird guy there with a white mask, is uh, in those days, that was very common. You had to have that attire to enter to be able to gamble. You had to have the mask, the three-point hat, the cape, and that was also very common when uh, when they voted. It was their way of being discreet. Anonymous. Yeah. Anonymous, right. So that's it kind of ties into everything. I like that. And uh, of course you're showing off the old stuff. Absolutely. If, if there's one blend you can pick for people to try, what is it? I think I would say definitely our, our core line, which is La Jugala, which uh, the Habanos are favorite. It won a Cigar of the Year in 2013 with yeah. uh, Cigar Dojo. Probably our best price point cigar also. Yeah, our best selling cigar is the Habano. Is the Habano. We still you know, sell that to all our accounts, and you know, we're happy with it. That's, awesome. That's our baby. Thanks for taking the time, guys. Really appreciate it. Hey, we want to thank you guys, Cigar Federation. From day one, you guys have supported us. Yeah. For smaller companies like ours, uh, the social media and the bloggers and what you guys do are a big deal, man. So thank you. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Cigar Federation, do your thing. <laughs>